welcome to day three of Ju Chiat Week. I am here to show you around a new highlight this morning. Thank you to everybody who joined us yesterday at China Collection. We're just around the corner today at number 12, Ju Chiat Terrace. We are at the lovely and most unique Hat of Cane. Can you tell by what I'm wearing today? This store is one of the most unique gems. I can't tell you how much I love this place. It's really rare because it's just like being transported into a different realm. So I'm gonna just pan around to show you what we're looking at here. This beautiful little terrace off the beaten track. Here we are, there's a little clue outside. Nice little area to come and sit down. And we're gonna be welcomed at the door. Let's see who's inside. Hello, hi Abby. Hi Andrew. Hello, Hello Bill. Bill. Welcome to Head of Cain. Thank you very much. Just going to show everyone around this really stunning and very unique interior here. It feels like you've stepped into somebody's living room and actually, interestingly enough, that's exactly how this place got off the ground in Bill's living room in Gay Lang down the road. Um, about eight years ago, he started putting together some hats People walk past and have a little chat. And that's how this store got off the ground. Can you see some of the most interesting artifacts that he's collected around on the walls? Really stunning. And what's so nice is once those doors are closed, you just feel like you're somewhere else. It is a soulful experience, so unique infused with style and culture and class. Hello everyone, <laughs> that's me. Here we are, we've got some lovely little artifacts here. There's a photo of the Twin Towers taken in 1975. Little bits of history all around. Doesn't it feel like you're right at home? So cozy, so nice. And Bill will certainly make you feel welcome. I've had a, a lovely coffee already, and if you come, you will not leave without having a chat and learning a thing or two about Singapore and about all of the lovely things that are in this store. This portrait, I just have to mention, um, is painted by Bill's wife's great, great, great grandfather yes, in correct. Paris. Um, in the 1920s, did you say? 1910. 1910, incredible. It's just beautiful. Here is the magic machine, coffee machine to make you feel at home. And uh, a really lovely, cosy corner here. I think that's Bill's favourite chair, <laughs> I've been told. You might see him working on a hat or two, customising things, if you're lucky, and strolling one day. So, as we know, we are all women and we are all hustlers. N and necessity is most definitely the mother of invention. Bill, one day, found himself in Singapore and needing a good hat. Could he find one? No. So he did what anybody with a mission would do. He went to Ecuador for three months to make the best one that he could. So Bill, can you tell us a little bit about the hats that you've managed to make and bring in from Ecuador? Well, during my time in Ecuador, I, I spent uh, traveling all over the countryside, um, uh, meeting weavers, meeting uh, exporters, um, and learning the whole process of how unique and how beautiful these uh, works of arts are and how much work goes into them. And um, from there, I uh, put together a supply chain. Um, I do not make the hats, uh, but I do uh, work with um, uh, very good exporters who purchase the, the raw materials to make these beautiful finished products. 
uh, and that's what we have today. I have around 10 suppliers in Ecuador, and uh, this is how uh, we, we keep the, their business going and help support uh, this wonderful trade that is now protected by UNESCO, and is, uh, um, they're making sure that the, this trade continues because it is a, a very, very unique trade. Wonderful. So you are doing hats for men and for women. And now, just today exclusively, I found out new products, hats for children as well, yes. which is so lovely because it's actually really hard to find a classic hat that's going to look nice when you make, make it an effort to find um, lovely pieces for their wardrobes. It's so nice to have accessories to match as well. So here we have um, a different type of hat. We've got flat caps and Baker Boys. And if you are a fan of Peaky Blinders, which was shot in my hometown of Birmingham, oh, yeah, a <laughs> little bit of trivia there, um, you will be a fan of these hats. They're, they're great. They're uh, funky urban streetwear and, you know, something different to the Panama hats. They are funky and cool and very chic very easy to wear and actually as a woman i think they would be really funky to wear those and we get them in all lightweight material to to be able to to wear them in in singapore so none of them are made of the heavy heavy wool that you'd normally find um in in, in europe so. and just on that bill talking about panama hats and breathability yes um how easy are they to wear in singapore and maintain in singapore they're actually very easy to, to, to wear and to maintain here. They're a lightweight uh, straw hat that gives a, um, a, a ventilation that makes it feel cool when you do wear it. Um, but it is not a, a rain hat, it is a sun hat. So um, you have to be a little bit cautious on when you wear it so that you don't get caught in the rain with it because that can damage the hat. But uh, we, we work with putting protectants on the hat for all our customers and uh, want to make sure that everyone gets a uh, good hat. But Singapore is the ideal eternal summer to wear a formal mm -hmm. hat. Fantastic. And also there is a restoration service. Should you buy a hat and you need a little freshen up or it gets caught in the rain or you store it and it gets a little bit mashed up, there is, um, I mean, Bill is the man. He knows what he's doing. He's studied um, everything intricately. So this is his little <laughs> restoration corner. Um, and I mentioned his favorite hat, you, a favorite chair earlier. You will see him um, sitting there and diligently uh, preparing and restoring. Uh, come in, have a chat, give your hat a freshen up. Some little tools of the trade here. It's really fascinating coming in here. I've been in here a few times. I have had a hat fitting myself. It's such a fantastic experience. Bill and Abby will take you through exactly um, you know, what kinds of hats they think will suit you and all of the different trimmings and permutations that are available. I just love this little corner in particular, not only because it is actually a type drawer. Yes. It's a metal type drawer. And again, um, a little bit of trivia. I used to be a graphic designer in my oh, previous good. life. Okay. So <laughs> this really appeals to me. It's such a neat little corner to... Hold all of those knickknacks and those um, hat bands, trimmings, unique little things. I don't know if um, you've seen, but there are little interesting additions that you can have, like these little feathers, which make a hat so unique. That is really stunning. What other things, Bill, can you use to customize hats? We can customize hats uh, with almost anything. Um, we, let me get something here. Uh, Sorry, put you on the spot there. No, no not at all. Um, we can use matches. We can distress hats. Ooh, um, interesting. And custom make hats for people. Wow, eh? Um, and sometimes uh, some of our clients bring in uh, maybe a little uh, memorabilia from their parents, a button oh, or a metal so or something that they like to to put on their hat to remind them of their father or mother. Um, we had a, a woman who uh, had uh, a couple of uh, uh, reporters uh, imprisoned in Myanmar. So uh, when we did her hat, we put a, a Myanmar chap in the hat band. Oh, wow. As kind of a mem memory um, of uh, what she went through. We can also 
also personally attached by branding. So we do all sorts of work, feathers, pins, all sorts of things we can add to hat to just give them a little bit of an accent. I notice you have a brooch on. We can even put a brooch on that. Wow, how that. special. Yes, yeah. lovely. And that's all part of um, the hat fitting process, the customization process. Uh, we were talking earlier, and Bill, you were saying, you know, uh, every hat is unique. It, it has a different fit, a different feel, um, just as the straw that uh, goes to make every hat has a different quality. This is the, the straw that goes to make these beautiful hats. And, you know, each hat is really meant for one person. They're, they're so unique. There's so a hat for every person, and every person has their own way of wanting to wear the hat and how we can personally customize it to their requirements. So that we're, we're all about making the hat uh, personal. Fantastic. So you can come in during shop hours. It's Tuesday to Saturday, 11 till 6, and on Sunday, it's 11 till 5. No, no. Oh, no, sorry, no. sorry, sorry. Um, Tuesday through Friday, 11 to 6, and Saturdays, 11 to 5, we're closed Sunday and Monday. Sorry, I'm taking a day <laughs> off. <laughs> I'm taking a day off. I'll repeat that later. Um, and um, that you can also make out-of-hours appointments as well, should you want to come with some girlfriends or for a special appointment maybe. Um, this is a great idea for gift giving, um, fantastic to do for a special birthday or a special occasion for somebody special in your life. So that's a really lovely thing to do. There are also, I have to point out, when my husband came with me for my fitting not so long ago, he was very interested in the other items which are available in the shop. Um, such as these beautiful men's linen shirts, which are tailor-made by um, a diffusion arm of Benjamin Barker here, here in Singapore. Um, and they're, they're so lovely to wear, perfect for Singapore. They've got a little bit of give um, in this warm climate. You don't want anything too stiff, too stuffy. So they're really lovely to look at. We've got men's espadrille shoes here. Again, you know, Bill road tests everything here. Um, it's things that he would want to wear, things that are practical in Singapore, things that just work here. Uh, we've got lovely swim shorts. I have to say, these are so lightweight and really, really lovely to wear. My husband bought some and I haven't been able to get him out of them, um, apart from to wash, of course. They're so comfortable. Um, he just loves, loves being in them working from home. So um, there are also candles available from Riau here, which is a charity project of, um, I don't know if you can see that, there you go, Hat of Cane. So it's a lovely experience. You've got uh, music, you've got candles, you've got coffee, you've got excellent service, um, such a nice way to spend an hour or so trying on hats with Abby and Bill. Everyone's welcome. Please come and pay us a visit. Do come along. So just to repeat, um, we're at Hat of Cane at 12 Juchat Terrace and the opening times, Abby, could you please let us know? So Tuesdays to Friday, 11 to 6, Saturdays, 11 to 5. Fantastic, do come along. Now one last notice, I'm just going to remind you, today is day three of Ju Chiat week and everybody who comments on any of the videos this week will be put into a great mystery prize draw at the end of the week. And I have a fantastic announcement, really exciting because we've got a bonus competition. That's the second one, which is going to be drawn on Sunday. Another prize, um, which is just so stunning, you don't want to miss this as well. Uh, the value is $680. Please watch, please comment, get involved. Juchiat is a fantastic area. Um, look forward to showing you more of it tomorrow morning. Thanks everyone.